Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new release video. I was out at Target today and noticed something new on the shelves. These yellow Fairfield baseball repack boxes. I checked on eBay because I hadn't seen these anywhere. Some of them were selling for pretty good or at least listed for a nice value. So I decided to pick up all seven of these boxes, open them up and see what they're all about. So let's go check it out and see what's inside. All right, we are back from Target. We are going to take a look at this brand new release. I hit up a couple targets in my search for 2020 Bowman. I didn't see any Bowman, but I did see this product in all of the shelves at my local Targets. Uh, I picked all these up at a Target in Morgantown, West Virginia, as went for a nice hike today down in that area. But anyway, you can see that there are eight packs in this box, and every single one of these has a pack of 2019 Gypsy Queen on the front. Now, I wanted to pick this up and see exactly what's in here. There's eight packs plus a bonus item. I'm not sure if that bonus item is going to be one of those teeny mates that Fairfield used to put in some of their products about a year or two ago. You may remember those. Um, they were pretty fun to open. I'm not the teeny mates, but the repacks. We've got a repack box here. We've got seven of them. We're going to open them all up, and Brian purchased all these cards for us. He's the sponsor of the video. Brian, thank you very much. Let's see what you can find in a box of these brand new Target repacks. Uh, I put a ton of glue on the top, so much that I'm actually struggling to get that open. So I'm going to open these from the bottom. I see there is a rack pack of old cards in here, it looks like. So that's interesting. I'm not sure if this is going to be like the um, world's greatest pack chase boxes or not. We're about to find out. We have a 2019 Heritage Pack. We have top series one, actually a couple of them. I guess the bonus prize in there. It did say there's a bonus item on the on the front of the box. And I'm guessing that we have, uh, this is what it's going to be. It's a mini card. We also have uh, 2019 series one. We've got Babe Ruth collection and a rack pack of 1989 tops is what you get in the first box. Um, so we'll open up some of these packs. Uh, the big question is, will we find some Topps Chrome? I did check these out on eBay before buying them, and I saw that a couple people had three box lots listed for anywhere between $82 to $120, and their boxes had 2019 Topps Chrome update in them, so I'm hoping that maybe we can find some boxes with some hidden surprises in there. As you know, sometimes Fairfield will insert some good stuff like 2018 Topps update, or some 2018 top series two. We've seen those in the past. Also, I'm kind of interested to see what the bonus items are. So I think the best uh, idea uh, and to understand this product and what it's all about is to buy several of them so we have a better sample size. Uh, for example, if I just bought this one box, I'd be like, eh, I'm not too sold on this at all with the three series one packs. There's a nice Kyle Tucker rookie card and a Glaber short print, very nice. A uh, Glaber Torres Gold Cup short print. We're going to put that one aside for Brian to make sure we get that one top loaded up there. I've actually never seen that car before. I've opened a lot of 2019 Series 1. And that's my first time ever seeing that one. So that is a good one. Um, let's see. What else do I have? Let's do the Heritage from 2019. The base Heritage set. We'll see if we can find anything good in here. Any of those decent rookie cards from 2019, like Michael Kopech, not in that particular pack. How about we do the Gypsy Queen pack as well and see what we can find. There's Frankie Lindor, one of the best fielding shortstops in the game. There's another Glaber, so two of his cards today. And I guess we'll open up the rack pack. I'm not going to open the uh, Babe Ruth packs. Some of you may like those. Um, they're just kind of a bunch of historical cards with pictures on them. Not a lot of value to the cards. But with 89 tops at least, we can maybe find some of the decent rookies in this set, like Randy Johnson, or possibly Craig Biggio, or John Smoltz, or Gary Sheffield. And some of you, uh, if you're new to collecting, you might think, what about Ken Griffey Jr.? Well, Griffey is in the tops traded set, so he would not be um, up for the finding in a regular 89 tops pack. You'd have to get him in a traded set, so... We'll go through all these at once. Hey, Randy Johnson rookie card. So very nice. We'll get that one top loaded. I just mentioned that as the uh, arguably the best card in the set. There's Jim Rice, who's a Hall of Famer. 89 tops was the year I started collecting cards. 
So this set will always have a soft spot in my heart. There's Kirby Puckett, Hall of Famer Kirby Puckett, Bob Welch, uh, Lenny Dykstra, and no other huge names in that particular box. So first box, I would give it uh, maybe a 3 out of 10 if I was rating that. Uh, let's see. We have seven of these boxes. We're going to see if they're all the same or all different. Hopefully, Fairfield mixed them up. Uh, let's see what we have coming out of our next box. We have, it looks like, here's our special prize again. It is going to be a uh, former Pirates closer card there, who I'm not too fond of. All right, so everything's out of the box. Kind of like how they put one uh, little display pack in there. Kind of cool. Gypsy Queen again. Some more 89 tops. We have Series 1, Series 1. We got Babe Ruth. And there we go. That's what we're talking about. A Series 2 retail pack. Of course, Series 2 is the hot pack that you can find um, in these boxes. So far, at least. 2019 Series 2. So actually four 2019 packs of tops here. 2019 Series 2 has a lot of good rookies. And you've got the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. short print in there. Uh, you also could find the Fernando Tatis Jr., Aloy Jimenez rookie cards as well. Um, of course, Pete Alonso's rookie is in that set. All those very highly sought-after guys. There's Michael Kopech rookie card, arguably one of the best rookie cards in Series 1, along with Jeff McNeil or Ramon Laureano. Those are definitely keepers. Glaber's got a special... Um, insert set in target packs in 2019 which is pretty cool you can see they are advertising it at the very top of the pack let's see what we can find in our next pack here all right um let's see there's willie calhoun we have a 1976 independence day parallel of jp crawford that's a nice pull right there these are out of 76 there's always value to these. That's a low print run, 34 of 76. There's guys out there trying to put this whole set together, and uh, they will pay a premium for those. So that one goes over in my good pile as well. like that one a lot. Spacer card there. Let's do our Gypsy Queen. And then it, if there's going to be an 89 Tops pack in every box, I'm not going to open all of them because, uh, hey, we have a missing nameplate. Sean Doolittle card there. Very nice. Uh, there's Kyle Seeger. I'll open one more, and then after that, I will leave the rest of those packs to Brian to open up. Let's see what we can find in his 2019 Series 2. And let's see if we can find him one of the good rookie cards. Series 2 is going to be coming out for 2020 tops very soon at the end of June. I think June 26 is the release date for that, the big rookie card that everyone's going to be chasing after. It's a nice Freddie Freeman, by the way, along with A-Rod. It's going to be Luis Roberts' rookie card. Not so sure how many other rookies we're going to see in that set. It, uh, I guess we'll have to wait for the checklist to pop up on the internet. All right, let's do this 89 Tops pack. And then that's it for 89 Tops for the duration of this video. Now, any other rack packs, we'll let Brian open. We'll just check out and see if we can find any of the other decent rookies. Randy Johnson is probably the best card you can pull. We'll look for Smoltzy. We'll look for Biggio. We'll look for Sheffield. See if we can find any of them in this last pack. And then the rest... Um, we'll just see if they're on the front. There's Robin Ventura, rookie card. Bobby Bo, all-star card, was a nice one back in the day, especially if you're a Pirates fan like myself. Andre Dawson is a Hall of Famer. Uh, can't forget about Gary Carter, also a Hall of Famer. Had a great career. Barry Bonds is a nice one. Not a Hall of Famer, but seven-time MVP and all-time home run king with 762 career home runs. He might get in someday. We'll see. There's Ozzy Smith, of course, a Hall of Famer. One of the all-time greats. Charlie Huff. Terry Mulholland from Uniontown, Pennsylvania. And Charles Hudson is the last one. So, all right, that's two boxes down. We've got five more to go. Let's see what we can find in our next one. Hey, we've got another Series 2 pack. Very nice. Um, I would I'd, I'd give that second box maybe a 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10, somewhere there. I really like Series 2. So I'm always happy when those show up. We've got a value pack of opening day. We've got a Series 2 pack. We've got Series 1 Babe Ruth packs. We're not opening those Leaf packs. Those will just get sent off to Brian. Here's our bonus. It's a mini of Sean Reed Foley. And, of course, looks like every box, or at least many of them, are going to have an 89 Tops rack pack. So we'll send those off to Brian, like I said. Let's open up the newer stuff. I know a lot of you guys like old stuff, but... Um, 
We'll save the older stuff for Throwback Thursday. Speaking of Throwback Thursdays, we've got some good ones coming up. I'm pretty excited about tomorrow. We have a whole case of Topps Lineage. It's a 2011 Topps Lineage with two autographs per box and one relic. And those relics are usually pretty nice looking. They're 1975 style designs. I opened a couple boxes of those on the channel in January of last year. So it's been over a year since I've opened a box of Lineage. And I was pretty happy with them. We're going to give that a try tomorrow. And then we've got a big one coming up after that, which I will announce that one uh, in the coming days. All right, so 2019 Series 1. We'll go through them looking for the parallel cards like you saw. That was a nice 1976 Independence Day card of J.P. Crawford. That's a nice one right there, Kyle Tucker. He's going to be a star, I think. Usually hits uh, 25 to 30 home runs in Triple A every year, at least the last two years he was there. There's a nice Starling Marte card. I love the 84 design. Paul DeYoung, who's an all-star. David Bodie and Derek Dietrich. All right, so let's check out our Series 2 pack. I want to hit a Tatis rookie card or a Pete Alonso rookie as well. It would be nice to find the short print of Vladdy. Let's see what we can do here. These uh, are definitely one of the more sought-after packs. There's Kyler Pin Jr. Every, uh, tar not every target, but a lot of the targets that I go into still have the gravity boxes or the, uh, the feed boxes on the shelves, and there is never a Series 2 pack to be found anywhere. Everyone snap those up. Let's go on to our next box, box number 4. And see what we can find. Again, these were $17.99 per box. So you can let me know what you think of the value. We've got an 89 Tops Rack Pack again. Now, I don't know what a Rack Pack sells for these days of 89 Tops. I would predict you probably see that for around a dollar at a card show, especially with all the prices going north. These packs here usually cost $2.99 a piece. If you walk into Target right now and go to the gravity feed section, so look at three, six, nine dollars a pack of this. Probably I don't know, at least six to ten dollars. This is a little more valuable. So you are getting close to your money back. There's a nice Mike Trout. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the Babe Ruth collection. I wouldn't pay fifty cents for both of those, but that's just me. Uh, I'm not a big fan of those cards. Those in Conlon collection. Let's check out our Gypsy Queen. They give us a pack of these in every single box. Ronald Acuna Jr. is a nice one. Second year card. We'll do our Series 1 packs for Brian. Again, you can pick these up at your Target. And um, I don't know. It's kind of a consolation prize, I guess. If you go out to Target looking for 2020 Bowman and you see this on the shelves, you might want to grab it and maybe take a chance. Looks like you got a pretty good shot at getting a Series 2 pack or maybe even something better so far. Out of the four boxes that we've opened, three out of the four of them have had a Series 2 pack in there. I would love to find those. The beautiful Mike Trout card. I love that card. But anyway, I would, there's a nice Pittsburgh Pirates gold card out of 2019. I'd love to find some 2020 Bowman on the shelves, but if I can't find that, I might as well get something open, right, for $17.99. I guess this is worth the risk of, um, you know, maybe getting a 20. 19 series two pack i have opened a ton of series one in the last uh, year and a half so um not the biggest series one fan but it's always cool because you can still find some good stuff in there as evidenced by the 1976 parallel card shane bieber future star card and randall gritchick is the last one so here is the series two pack let's see if we can find one of those decent rookie cards all right, we got Mike Fires, the whistleblower of the whole Astros cheating scandal. Kevin Newman rookie card is a nice one. He's a decent shortstop. And there we go. The hit that we were looking for, Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card. Brian, congratulations on that one. I'm not sure what the base rookie card goes for nowadays, but on eBay it's probably at least a $10 card. Uh, the big chase card in Series 2 is trying to find this card in a parallel, like a like one of those 76 out of 76 or out of 99 or even the gold card worth a ton of money. A very nice pull right there. Congrats on that. Brian, let's see if we can find you the Pete Alonso to go with him and maybe even the Vladdy Jr. short print. Next up, we've got three boxes left. You see them on the top of the screen. Let's see if we can find in our next one. Shohei Otani hanging out there on the front. Like I said, uh, kind of cool you get a window there. It would be really nice if they put the window on the side, but um, obviously they're not going to do that because people would grab up any box that had the um, 2018 Tops update, if that's even still an option. 
It does look like this particular box has more tops packs. We have some more Babe Ruth packs. And another 89 tops. I'll just take a look at it. Beautiful Kyrkin Jr. You get one of those all-star game cards in every single rack pack. And uh, looks like on the back you have nothing crazy going on there. So we'll send those off to Brian. All right, let's do our packs here and see what we can find. Here's the mini. It is an Elvis Andrews from Allen and Ginter. Looks like that's the bonus item. We've got that figured out. Every bonus item, it would be cool if it was an autograph. Ronald Acuna Jr. is a nice one there. The first card of the set for 2019. Uh, I guess if I would give my feedback to Fairfield, I would tell them I love repack boxes. I love variety in repack boxes. So if I know that every single box is going to have 2019 Series 1, I might not, not buy as many. But I also love kind of the uh, idea of chase packs and having um, some higher end packs, which is really cool. Like those prime packs that are put out on Walgreens shelves. They have the high end packs randomly inserted, like one in every, I forget what it is. I don't know if it's one in every four or not, but they have some like Top's Finest and stuff. Um, we had Top Spectra in one of the boxes that I bought. And you can pull some nice stuff out of there. There's Willie Calhoun, Future Star card. We've got a gold card come up here of Cesar Hernandez. There's Max Scherzer. Whit Merrifield, Josh Bell, and Joe Musgrove, teammates for the Buccos there. Buster Posey and Robbie Cano is the last one. Let's do our Gypsy Queen pack. And then check out the Series 2 pack and see what we can find. We've got a rookie card of Luis Orias there. And Jake Arrieta, that is a... Gypsy Queen logo swap there. You can see it's missing the GQ logo. It's instead got the fortune teller's face. There's Justin Turner making a play. All right, we're back to Series 2. Let's see if we can find um, Alonso now to go with the Tatis rookie card. What do we have? There's Dustin Pedroia. We've got a gold card. Man, that would be really nice if that was one of the top rookies. They're out, they're out of 2019, as you guys know. It's the year. The print run is the year. Of the card, there's Austin Wynn's rookie card, Tyler White. We've got a Tyler Naquin, and the last one's there is Roberto Perez. Had a nice season last year, Perez. Two boxes left of this new release product from Fairfield. The last time they put this out, it was a blue box, I believe. I forget how many packs there were, but um, haven't seen those on the shelves for a long time. All right, so our next to last box, we have... Pretty much the same collation here of packs, Babe Ruth packs. We're not opening those. 89 tops. We'll show you who's on the front as we have been doing. There's the back. No big rookie cards on the back. Let's check out the bonus item. Bonus item is a Chris Bryant mini. And here we go. So if we've determined one thing in this video, it is... I'm actually going to do all three of these at once. We've determined that... They give you a lot of Series 1 in these boxes from 2019. And uh, if you guys have been to Target over the past, I don't know, year, there's literally still Series 1 loose retail packs on the shelves at Target. Unfortunately for Series 1, there hasn't been a rookie that's really taken off to drive the set up in terms of demand. I mean, there's some nice rookies in there. Uh, maybe Kyle Tucker is going to come up and bop 40 home runs, and then everyone's after this set again. Sometimes that happens. 2018 Series 1 was way down for a while there. There's a nice Trey Turner. Uh, Andrew McCutcheon in his Yankees uniform. I remember I would always see 2018 Series 1 in the bargain bins, clearance section at Walmart. Now that is much more highly sought after with Jack Flaherty rookie card in there along with Walker Bueller rookie card. Everybody's chasing those. So maybe that'll happen with Series 1. Maybe it won't. Sometimes it takes a few years for some of these rookies to take off in Series 1. Uh, right now, the rookie class uh, kind of weak. There's Johnny Cueto. Let's check out the Gypsy Queen from 2019 for Brian. And then we have that other pack. So this is our sixth box that we've opened. And five out of six have had the Series 2, which is nice. That is uh, a nice one. There's Trey Turner. He's got the Gypsy Queen logo swap again. Series 2. Come on. Let's find Pete Alonso rookie card. Or we'll take another Tatis. I'd love to find some parallel cards. Like I said, there's Mr. Mustache, Daniel Mengden, Kevin Kiermeyer, great fielder, Christy Mathewson. There's Eck and Mariana Rivera, Eduardo Nunez, Keon Broxton, Chris Sale, 
We've got CC Sabathia now retired and Matt Shoemaker. So one last chance to check one of these boxes out. I do really like the packaging of this. Really pops. Kind of reminds me of the old Heritage. Is it 2016 Heritage or something that looked like that with the yellow background? Uh, immediately caught my eye. I was like, what is that? It's not Bowman, but it's something new. And um, us card collectors, when we see something new on the shelves that we haven't seen yet, we always um, have to check it out. By the way, funny story, um, maybe not funny, maybe sad, or maybe might make you angered. Uh, ran into uh, a local down in Morgantown who had been standing in the card section for an hour and a half, and he just came from the other Walmart. Uh, I guess he's been checking back and forth all day between the Walmarts. There's a Jacob deGrom, and he said he was at Walmart at 7.30, uh, went back at 9.30, and the Bowman had been placed there. It wasn't there at 7.30, but it had been placed there at 9.30. Uh, Bowman and Mosaic Basketball, and he said the uh, the housing units, which had just been placed there, were all sold out. There's Dante Bichette. So somebody went and grabbed all of them. So he was staked out at another Walmart about 13 minutes away, I think, from the previous one because he knew the stock lady was in the area and he was just waiting for her to come in. He, he had said he'd been camped out there for an hour and a half and he was waiting. I said, I literally just want to find some top loaders and maybe some 2020 Bowman and um, talked to him for a little bit. Cool dude, but um, that's what's going on in the stores right now. People are clearing them out literally um, immediately once they hit the shelves. 2020 Bowman is snapped up and also... Uh, it may only get worse, guys, because 2020 Bowman has a Mega Box component coming out uh, on Friday, actually. It's going to have some, I think, rainbow parallels in there. There's uh, 1307 out of 2019 Tim Beckham. I looked on eBay, and, and I think they're like $100 a box right now on the secondary market. And they only cost $20 if you would buy them in the store. So those Bowman Mega Boxes, um, good luck finding those. We can't even find the blasters. There's Kyle Tucker rookie card again for Brian. Let's see what else we have here. There's uh, Jacob DeGrom, back-to-back -back Cy Young Award winners. We go through all of our Series 1 packs at once. There's a rainbow of Shin Su Chu. We've got Corey Dickerson, Tommy Pham, and we're going to finish it off with Carlos Martinez. So two packs left. You'll have to let me know what you think of this product for $17.99 prior to tax. Um, before tax, after that, you're going to probably pay around $19, depending on what state you're in. Let me know what you think. There's a nice Brandon Lau rookie card. Is it worth it? Um, what would you give on a scale of 1 to 10? Personally, I would give this box, without the Series 2, like you saw, 5 of 7 boxes had Series 2, which is nice. I, I did appreciate that. Um, I guess overall I'm going to give it a 6, maybe a 6. I do like the Series 2. I wish every box had a Series 2 from 2019. As we go through our last pack, Jer Jake Arietta is the last card. So thank you so much for watching, everybody, this new release of 2020 Fairfield Repack uh, with the yellow boxes. I, I, it doesn't have a name. It's just called Baseball, and that's it. So um, I guess I would call it the 2020 Fairfield Repack um, Edition. Um, cool stuff. Always like new products. Brian, thank you very much for sponsoring the video. We'll have all these out in your next Patreon package. I hope you guys will hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Please like the video and uh, let me know what you think of this release. On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give it? I'm giving it a 6 uh, in terms of the value that you get back for the packs. Uh, a lot of Series 1 in there from 2019, uh, but there is some cool stuff in there with those 2019 Series 2 packs. Uh, we've got a live stream coming up tonight. Also, we'll be live tomorrow on Thursday for Throwback Thursday. I've got a case of 2011 Tops Lineage. I hope you can check them both out. And I hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday, and I will see you all later. Good night, everybody.